Thanks for rolling up. Two but Mario certified pothead. Smoking on one of my uh nighttime J's and shit. It's getting ready to um jump in the shower and do what night routine shit and I seen this story come through here bro let's take a look at this joint will stand ATF use facial recognition to identify the suspect the crime itself happened halfway down the block on May 8th the photo to ID the suspect came from a security footage of him buying a burner phone they used to Hold on. Uh, well, they say this shit happened on May 8th. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let them we'll let them keep telling you the story. Uh, well, let's just do that again. Well, Stan, ATF used facial recognition to identify the suspect. The crime itself happened halfway down the block on May 8th. The photo to ID the suspect came from a security footage of him buying a burner phone. They used historical cell phone tower data to put him in the area of the crime and to track him. In this exclusive video, you can see firefighters attacking flames racing through an unoccupied row house. Inside, they discovered the body of 35-year-old Miguel Soto Diaz. Federal court documents show he's a California marijuana dealer who had been kidnapped, held for ransom, tortured, shot, and set on fire. Crazy, bro. This is um. This ain't nowhere near fucking fucking Cali, bro. This is on the whole. This is on the East Coast. This is Baltimore, bro. How they get? How did they get a marijuana from dealer from Cali all the way to Baltimore? And then be able to like like like. Like kidnapping, time up, torturing him, and all that type of shit. And then the abandoned crib. And then they set the abandoned crib on fire. It, it, the dude must have been, you know I mean, like, like he must. It's had to be some, like, some, some, like, not, not, not straight shit, bro. A shocking revelation to some neighbors. You don't hear people getting called for ransom anymore. And a lot of people are getting. What do you mean anymore? Where the fuck did you? Did, when did you hear that shit? That's just that's just not regular. This ain't Mexico. Killed. According to those documents, his kidnapper filmed him in a chair with duct tape over his mouth and zip ties on his hands and ankles. Twenty-one-year-old Zion Fats Thompson of Baltimore is accused of demanding two hundred pounds of marijuana and fifty thousand dollars cash for the safe return of Soto Diaz. The feds... They said he had grabbed the bird of folk. So who is, who is he sending these texts from? Throw these texts to. A 200 pounds. How was they going to get that to you? Ugh. Say he did this using a burner phone to call one of the victim's associates. Thompson also sent a photo of Soto Diaz during his ransom demand with a caption that read, Pappy said, send bags and money so he can be okay. And said, don't call police or he won't be coming home. We had a long conversation, 200 bags and 50K. But most of the neighbors we spoke with say this level of violence is not surprising. It's wild, but it's it's just it's, it's an everyday thing. So it's not it's not a shock. The fact that so so that's how the fuck is going down in Baltimore, bro. But wasn't wasn't the wire set in Baltimore? <laughs>
Yo. It ain't safe on the streets. <laughs> Especially now, <numb. coughs> if you sell weed and shit. Someone was kidnapped, held for ransom, then shot to death, and the place set on fire. You don't find that surprising? Because it's Baltimore. I've seen people, I've heard of people getting shot and burned up for a hell of a lot less than that, so. In re <sighs> fuck crazy, bro. This nigga. This nigga, said, this, nigga, this nigga not surprised at all. He probably, you know I mean, down in the trenches this whole fucking life. Yeah, that's just, that's just a regular-ass Tuesday. For Response this to the ransom demand, court documents show the associate wrote, It's all bad. My uncles are coming with the feds. Thompson responded with laughing emojis. Y'all not even legal. So if y'all coming with the feds, tell y'all sell weed. I think nobody deserved that, to be honest with that. I mean, jail time... I don't. I don't understand. Like, like, I, I, well, dude, he must have thought he must have thought he was gonna get away. But how could you think that? How can you think that? Like, uh, yeah, even 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 with the shit, like like this motherfucker tried everything he could to keep his hands clean, only only to be caught anyway cool but death no so i don't know how to feel about the situation um god rest his soul do ask some motherfuckers who grew up when you know i mean that shit happened around them it was like the worst shit happening around them bro you not you you're not surprising these niggas this is a war zone for these niggas court papers suggest others may be involved meanwhile thompson is charged with conspiracy to distribute drugs and extortion. No word yet on whether murder and arson charges will be filed. Reporting live. I'm about to say, why the fuck you ain't charged with murder and arson? I'm from Southwest Baltimore. David Collins, WBI. Yeah, like, like if he's the only suspect, bro, he should be charged with all that shit. You see, other people might be arrested, but who knows? Unless dude's telling the shit, know what I mean? Um, who knows, bro? Uh, uh, yeah, shit, bro. They're not charging you with the murder. What the fuck, bro. 